Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Doing something a little different, a little more experimental. We've got a snake knot paracord bracelet, but it has a magnetic closure. So how cool is that? Um, you know, most of our bracelets use either plastic buckles, uh, knot and loop method, or, you know, Mad Max closure. And uh, yeah, this is what we're trying out today. So it is does involve a bit of a DIY and MacGyvering stuff, but uh, yeah, I think you guys will like it and hope you will enjoy this one. So remember guys, if you want to support the channel, you can uh, check out those affiliate links down below and also you can uh, support me on Patreon if you want to. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna start off this bracelet with our two pieces of paracord. They're not fused or anything like that. I'm gonna leave about I'd say a couple inches on this side. That's where we're going to make our magnetic closure. And we're going to start tying our snake knots um, right about here. Okay, so I'm going to start this um, the JD Lenzen way and take the left strand, bring it around the blue cord, and bring the blue cord behind the green one. And put it through the loop. Like so. And then we're going to cinch it up. It's okay if there's, you know, excess here. That's fine. Just gives you more to work with. So I'm going to put that knot there. Okay. And we're going to do this the, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, the JD Lens way. So we're going to loosen this first knot up here, take the blue one, right, make sure it goes behind the green, put that through the loop, pull it all the way through, and then cinch it up, and then again, give it a turn. So now we have the two blue knots on top, loosen this one, open that up, bring this around, Remember, green behind the blue, like so, and put that right through the top loop again and pull it shut. Okay, so we're not tying separate wall knots or snake knots like we do. So remember, always look for the one on top and open. This is actually um, a modification of JD Lenz's method. This is the, the method that I kind of um, did based on his snake knot tutorial, but I find this way always makes tighter snake knots okay so that is what we're going to do continue doing tying this pattern all the way down the glory of this uh closure style again you just kind of uh, tie the bracelet um along as you go and you can adjust when necessary so yep just tie your midsection of your snake knots and then i'll meet you on the other side and we'll make the closure okay so i tied my snake knot and as you can see, I've got that uh, just a little over two inches on each side. You can always adjust this next part. So now we're going to install our magnetic closure. So we've got these magnets here that I showed you earlier. Um, again, there's these little small barrel sized magnets or barrel shaped magnets. And we're going to start off by taking one end of the paracord on one strand. And as you can see, I've already cut this end so it's open. So you're going to grab the, she uh, the inner strands and pull them out like so. I'd pull out a decent amount, maybe like, yeah, about an inch. Okay. And you're going to cut that excess off. And next, you're going to take your lighter. And you're just going to melt the ends here just so it makes it easier to get the uh, the magnet in. So we're just going to torch it slightly. And then I'm going to take my fid. You can use your knotter's tool like that. And there we go. So now that's uh, nice and open. Now next we can slip the magnet in like that. And you want that magnet completely covered closed so push it in however you need to there you go so you can see that magnet is now in there 
Now again, we're going to take our lighter again and just melt it and then press it shut to seal the magnet in. So be very careful doing that part. And not that it probably won't happen, but um, be careful when using a heat, like a flame near a magnet, because it can, um, I think extreme heat can cause the magnet to lose its power, but that's probably a lot more than just a lighter. Okay, so we've got one in, right? Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So same thing. Pull the strands out. Cut the excess off. Take our lighter. Make sure it's nice and wide open. Now for the next part, make sure the magnet goes, um, just test the magnet and you want to be able to make sure it sticks to the um, same side. You don't want the opposite polarity, but it'll probably be okay. So take that magnet, slip that in. Okay. Then again, take your lighter. And press it shut. Okay, and there we go. So that is one side of the closure. And now we're just gonna repeat the process for the other side. So these two will uh, you know, connect and touch like that, as I showed you earlier. And you can always adjust the, uh, the length, but ideally you wanna get these about the same length just to make sure they, you know, it looks nice. So just repeat the same process on these two strands. And make sure the uh, polarities match up too, so they're not repelling each other. Okay, and there we have it guys, we are finished. So the only thing I didn't show you was that I added a little bit of um, microcord cobra knots uh, to kind of cinch up on these two cords here. I th thought it looked a little unfinished leaving those two cords just like that. So now we just have the magnet part exposed and that makes our closure. All right, so I will definitely give you guys a long-term report on this, on how it works out um, in terms of, you know, how it stays on and whatnot in day-to-day -day use. I think it'll be just fine for you know, regular use. I mean, I put it on my wrist and I shake really hard. It doesn't come off. So that's already a, a decent test, but we'll see how it does in everyday use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, you can uh, support the channel by uh, checking out those affiliate links down below. And also, I am on Patreon, so feel free to check that out as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next tutorial.